Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to do another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So I think this is episode 94 now, we're getting close to that 100. It's been a bit slow recently, but we're getting closer and closer every time. So that's uh, pretty, pretty cool stuff, but yeah, apologies for the lack of videos recently. So it's been almost like four days now since I made an upload, so apologies for that. I just didn't get around to doing any, I was quite busy, so you know, I just wasn't feeling like... A feeling uh, ready enough to do a video, I guess. But anyways, I'm back now, so we'll just get straight into it. So, today's system is sent in by Gigaman on Discord, so a special thank you to him for sending that in. Also, if you guys want to send in your own systems, make sure to join my Discord, link in the description, and you can upload it in the Pacific Upload chat there. Pretty simple to do, just drag the Ubox file, the simulation file into the Discord, then it's all good. But yeah, anyways, so yeah, we've got one system from Gigaman today called the Seven Star System. Um, so, let's just search it up. So here, it's a seven-star system, GM2133. So let's see what he's uh, got in here for us. To so here we go. Right. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. So does the orbit mode work? Okay, it may be a little uh, funny just because there's so many in here. Okay. So um, system structure, A, B, C, D. Okay, so there's all that. Right, so we'll go to the object number A first. So that is a black hole, actually. Okay. Right. So we've got a black hole there. I'll go ahead and close that off now. But yeah, here it is. So main black hole, massive three suns there. We don't um, we don't actually see um, a lot of um, black holes used much. Oh, a Barry sensor as well. Very cool. So there we go. Right, okay, that actually works. So right, we've got a Barry sensor. All right, first object here, fitting us. It looks quite similar to a Sedna in um, its appearance here. So there it is. First object. Rightio, moving on to the next one. We have this one here, so I'll just leave them up on the menu since it's easier to see them that way. Then we have this one. That one actually looks quite cool, the colour theme. Well, there's two of these, look, there we go. Different, same name, different object. Then we have Idel here, looks like a frozen world. Right, so that's all of the objects orbiting the black hole. So it's like a little asteroid belt with a few larger objects in it by the looks of it. But then moving out to the first star here, here it is. So it's a red dwarf by the looks of it here. Also got its own little asteroid belt. We also have a planet here. So there we go. Quite, well, actually, not too bad in temperature, actually. It's at 25. Another object over here. Oh, look at this. We'll get a closer look at that. Wow. That actually looks really cool. Look at that. That could probably be quite a good custom duplicate if you changed a few of the uh, things over. I mean, even now, if you added a red spot to that, I reckon that'll look quite good as a custom Jupiter, I have to say. So, yeah, pr pretty cool object there. That could be a custom Jupiter. Looks really good. So, yeah, nice um, modded bands right there. And this one has a moon of its own as well right here. That's quite a cool view of the gas giant, actually. Let's go ahead and land on that. Go on a realistic mode. So, okay, so that's what it actually looks like. So let's go ahead and land on here. So some people ask how you land on the surfaces. What you need to do is all you do is click on the object and then just press the C key. Yeah, so the letter C, all you need to do is do that and then it lands on the surface. But that's a pretty cool view of the uh, gas giant there. I like that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get a screenshot of that just for the just just for the record. I think that looks, um, I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice, that's a nice view there. I'll definitely get a screenshot of that. I think that looks really cool. So um, yeah, there it is. Really cool gas giant. Definitely a good nine out of ten for me. That is a really cool looking object right there. Right, let's continue now. Yeah, so calm here. This is a really, really cool object. So no more around that star. Okay, so oh no, we have some more objects orbiting in the uh, black hole over here. So let's see what we have got here. Okay, so this one um, is very dark. By the looks, it's got on a studio mode. Oh, look at this. So it's a um, oh, it's a gas giant with atmosphere here. So you can see, obviously, a yellowy sort of colored atmosphere. But underneath it is a blue and white. Yeah, pretty good looking object with a yellow atmosphere. Very nice job in league, man. That is looking really, really good. Got another uh, Sedna-like object there. But that Bone object here, that is a cool looking object. Uh, next up, we have got... Whoa! Okay, so we've got this insanely tinted blue, Neptune blue object here. That looks very, very fine. Very, very close to this one. So I'm guessing they're in some sort of little binary, maybe. Yeah, they, they looks like they're in a binary there. Uh, and then we have another object further out there. Okay, yeah, really, really like that blue one. That is a that is a cool-looking body right there. So there we are. All right, so that is all of those guys. All right, moving on to the next object over here. So this one is... Hey, it's my Planet 9. So here it is here. Always a fine um, object to see right there. Very, very cool. Um, so we have One. We've got an Eiffel over here. Oh, I've seen this object before. A lot of people have got their hands on this one, I believe. So, yeah, it's the um, dark sort of purpley indigo color with the white bands on it there. Yeah, I've definitely seen a few of those around in these systems. 
So, yeah, oh, there's another one here, another blue uh, blue and white banded object with an atmosphere here, looking pretty cool in orbit of the planet 9 over there. Thinking realistic, it's all dark, but yeah, we'll just keep on studio for now. Then we have a frozen ice world there. Okay, yeah, really like really like the um, gas giants' atmospheres, they're really cool. So, there we go. Then there's the Eiffel again. Right, so there's all of those guys. So like they're in mini systems. Okay, so moving out, we have another Barry Center here. Right, so now we're moving on to down here. Okay, so I think I did the uh, stars in the wrong order. This looks like it's the main star. But there's just a ton of Barry Centers. It must have taken ages to set this up. So credit where credit's due. Very nice job with all these Barry Centers. That's pretty cool. And it looks like it runs since trails are on. It looks like these guys have been moving around. So pretty cool indeed. So anyway, surface temperature is about 5,000. Luminosity is about 30% of the sun there. Anyways, first planet with a pink trail. Look at this guy. Now, how has he managed that? It's looking very glitchy, as you can see. It looks like it's got water on it, even though it's got lava or, or magma, however you want to call it. Now, that is strange. I have never, ever seen an object do this. It's like it's going in between water and ice or something. It's at 1,000 degrees. I'm not going to click, I, w I do want to click play and see what it does, but we'll have to come back to that. But it looks like the texture's changing. I mean, if you zoom in here, it looks like there's land that keeps disappearing and reappearing. I mean, that, I don't know, that's very funny. I mean, look at this. That is weird. Anyone seen a glitch like this before? Is this just glitched or is, this, is, this, is it intentionally done like this? Very, very strange. Very interesting. Water, magma. That's pretty cool. Very interesting, though. That, let's see if, uh, yeah, let me know, Giga Man. How do you make that? What, what is that? How do, you, how do you manage that? Anyways, next object over here, we got Lu-22 here. With, um, it's actually got a ring system of Uranus as well. So there it is there. Looking good. Got some moons around it. Yeah, with the Uranus sort of looking rings. Okay, so there are its moons. Let's actually go back to that object. I'm just going to see if it was... I know it's still glitching around on realistic lighting, so it's not the lighting mode that changes it. Very, very weird. So there is that. Got two Barry centers here. Okay all the uh, stuff in here right so we're moving on to the next star here okay so this one actually looks pretty uh or is it a, no it looks like a white dwarf actually by the looks of it so here it is here pretty bright as you can see right so this one actually has some objects orbiting it as well so we got a insanely red object here my god that is is that a, is that a very red how, that is a very very red i'm guessing it's gonna be tinted red is it just the atmosphere oh wow oh, ho, ho. now that's definitely been tinted red look at the clouds Look at the oceans underneath. Not much um, photosynthesis going on here, I don't think. I mean, look at how red that is, and it's in complete darkness as well. Oh, no, it's, it's got some light. It's just the atmosphere. It makes it a little weird. Okay. All right. See, there it is, but that is a very, very red object. I mean, the oceans are red. The tint is red. The snow is red. I think the only thing that's missing would be city lights if he wanted to add those. But, yeah, either way, really, really cool. I mean, that red atmosphere, that is... Uh, pretty menacing red right there. I mean, look at it. That's crazy. Very nice indeed there. So that is insane. Then we have Ditto over here and wow, that is a nice shade of blue slash indigo there. That. Well, purple, I guess like a purpley indigo. That is very nice. Wow. Oh, this one's also glitching around. How? What is this? How does it do that? That is weird, but man, I love that colour. That is such a nice colour. Really, really nice. There we go. We've also got some a uh, few moons around it, but wow, that is such a beauty to look at. Love that color. Really, really nice there. Very unique indeed. Right. So there are all of those guys. All right. Moving on to the next object over here. So this one, uh, I think that's a random spawn, but it could be modded. Who knows? But I think that's a random. So there we go. We've got an object here called Golden. My God, what is this? Is this is this a, is that ice on it? It looks like it's frozen. Has it got water? It has got some water. I want to play around with this. I want to... Okay, so we, we can reopen the sim. Okay, that's fine. So, if you take it off and re-add it. Wow. That looks amazing. So, even when you take it off and re-add it, it's still the same. That is so cool. Just the lighting. The... I'm guessing maybe he put some background settings on as well to do this. I'm not sure. But that is it's glowing on this side. You add that ice to it. Look at it. Oh, that it literally... Wow, that is a beauty. Is that a new species of object there? I'm not entirely sure. It looks like it's tinted with increased brightness or reflectiveness of some sorts. So it sort of reminds me of my... If we go into the menu here, 
it reminds me of my custom iris here. So where, where is it? This object. Is it this one? Oh, no, no. My, my iris is called shiny, which is this one. So I place that in there. It reminds me of shiny a bit, but tinted. So that, that's very shiny there. Looks quite different in this simulation. He's definitely got some background lighting on it because this is slightly tinted. or There's a slight red colour to the back of this. But my guess is he's tinted it and made it very shiny like this. So maybe it's like a, a subspecies of two different types of modded objects. That's just my guess from first impressions. But that is a beauty. Really, really like that. Very, very nice indeed, Giga Man. That is a really, really cool object. Not seen anything like that before. Um, so then we've got some more objects over here. Got an aura packs over here, but yeah, that gold object. I think that may be my favorite I've seen. That is such a cool looking object. So there we go. Really, really cool. Right, is okay. We is there any more? Okay, so we started over there, so we want to head this way now. Okay, so we the center object in here is a um, brown dwarf or more of a hot gas giant by the looks of it, actually. So there it is. Has a purple. Um, oh, I love loving that purple. Wow, that purple looks good. So let's go on a studio. So there it is there. Very nice shade of purple indeed. Got a bit of like cyan blue on it as well. Frozen world as we can see there. Cool view of the gas giant. But yeah, there it is. That is a nice shade of purple. Um, and we got Karmai over here. So this one's um, blue atmosphere, orange and blue surface. There we go. Then we got Salby over here. And my god, what has happened here? Okay, so it looks like it's again quite a shiny object which is tinted. Also with city lights. Let's go on realistic mode. My god, that looks it. Look at those lights. Damn, that is that is a very strange object as well. Let's uh, we'll have a little play of it. So that's climate mode. Okay. Yeah, but that's that's that looks like it's been tinted a slight bluish cyan color. A bit maybe a bit of green in there as well. So it's clearly tinted. But on studio mode, it seems to be very reflective, very very bright blue. Oh, that's a cool. That's cool as well. Nice. Not as good as the gold one, but yeah, that's that's definitely my favourite one, the gold one. But that, that's quite an interesting object as well. We've got some more um, little moon objects around here as well. Okay, so they do work on orbits. So there we go. It's, it's easier to see them uh, with orbits on now. So here we go. This one is a Sedna with like a reddish atmosphere on it. Reminds me of my original Sedna. My original Sedna had an atmosphere, a red one. Okay, so there's that. Oh, it's so cool with all these Barry centers and stuff. So much like technical stuff in here okay so is this another brown dwarf or like another hot gas giant i think it's a slightly different one so then we have some more objects it's a nice mix of brown and white there creamy sort of chocolatey looking object this object over here so it's a red frozen ice world looking good so there we are right then we have salby over here another basic looking object and then we have these objects over here at bolly and now that is a cool looking purple gas giant very nice. Um, and we've got some more frozen ice worlds. Some more uh, moons, yep. Yeah. Uh, moving out to this one. That um, looks like a uh, sort of dark yellow Titan-like object there. So go underneath it. Definitely reminds me of Titan. Yep, yeah, with a purple and frozen ice underneath it there. Okay, looking good. And then the last moon here is this one, which is also rocking with like a Sedna sort of colour scheme. So it just seems like he likes his Sednas. Um, by the looks of it. So yeah, there we go. All right, I think we have... It's quite confusing to navigate, but I think we need to... Have we... Did we We did this one, didn't we? Yeah, we did that. We, that was the one with the uh, crazy... Yeah, that one. Okay, so we've done all that, and we've done this. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay, so we did, it was a seven-star system. Okay, so I don't, have we done all seven stars? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure if these are counted as stars or not. Let's just go ahead and reopen it. Let me just see if I've uh, see if we reopen it. Let's have a look. So, see what the menu said. If it opens, okay. So, it's quite confusing some of this stuff as well. He's got all of the stats and stuff. So let's actually go in the lineup. Okay, so seven star. Oh, wait, where are the? Uh, it's seven stars, right? Seven star system. Are they at radius? Okay, so. We got at least two there. Okay, I only see three stars. So where are the other ones? Oh, that gold one. Look at that. That's so good. But I believe that's everything. I think I'm assuming it may count these as stars. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure with that. But either way, 
I believe that is everything. I mean, all the objects here we've seen, so that's all that's in the system. There's definitely not anything else hidden because we're in chart mode. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and close that now. But I do want to go back to um, one of the objects. Which one was it? I wanted to click play. Ah, I can't remember which one it was. We need to go back and click play on one. Ah, oh, which one was it? It wasn't the gold. I'm trying to ah, I'm trying to work out which one it was. One of the objects is smoking up by the looks of it. Okay, let's just go out of this. I believe it was in orbit of the original. Was it one of these guys? No, no, I'm not sure. Ah, oh, I can't remember which one it was. So, no, it, was, it can't have been any of them. I'm. I can't remember. I generally cannot remember which one it should. Which one I want to click play on. Oh well, <laughs> I, I literally cannot remember. I don't know if it's just um, yeah, I definitely, I definitely said I needed to click play on something, and we'd come back to it later. Oh, I, I think it was the weird looking. Uh, is it, yeah, this one. I want to click play on this. I want to see if it does anything. So play. So even when you click play, it like all glitches around. Okay, let's. Is it got a client mode or anything we can? So that doesn't even show up. Great. It contains no water. What's that then? What if you add water? Okay, that's just well and truly glitched. It's fro it's like frozen glitched with like a weird teleporty surface glitch. I don't even know what to describe that as. A very glitchy boy by the looks of it. So when you remove all the water, it turns to water. But when you add water, it turns to ice. That is one mysterious object right there. Anyone has any explanations, let me know. Because that... That is very interesting and strange. That is very, very peculiar. That is, that is a weird one. Okay, so there we go there. Just uh, go through it all again. I'm just trying to remember. Was there anything else I needed to click play on? I don't think there was. I think I think I did want to click play on that. I'm pretty sure it was that one. So, there we go. But there's all the um, objects again. That one's like glitching out in the thing here. But yeah, really, really cool system. That gold one is 100% my favourite. It's such a good looking object. I mean, just look at it. He must have got the background exactly how he wanted it. He's got it reflective. Oh, that's such a cool looking object. 100% my favourite. But out of all of the objects, I think my favourite has got to be that purple. It's either between the purple gas giant or the blue. Or not the blue one, the uh, Jupiter lookalike. It's either that or the purple one for me. I think they look the best. But Rocky Planets, 100% is the gold one. It just looks... Oh, it's such a cool looking object. Followed by maybe the cyan blue and the red one here. Also, that Neptune blue, I think they're my most notable ones. But that gold one is just, oh, that is so cool. And then we have this weird glitchy one. That is very, very, uh, still glitching out. Very, very confusing object. If anyone has any ideas on what that, or how that is done, then let me know. Because that is, that is a very big mystery on uh, what that is for now. So, yeah, Giga Man, if you're watching, obviously, thanks for sending the system in. But can we have some more information on this guy? H how? What? What is this? That is very, very strange. But yeah, there we go, guys. So um, yeah, let me know um, what you think down below in the um, comments below. And actually, just looking at this um, object again, turns out that isn't my Planet 9. Because my Planet 9 doesn't have a, a uh, white area on it. So this is a very, very similar but different version. I mean, from that look, it looks exactly like mine. But if you look underneath, my one doesn't have that white area in the south there. So yeah, that isn't actually my Planet 9. He must have got his own one, which... Is very very similar indeed i mean i didn't even spot that until i was looking in chart mode but yeah there we go so yeah if you guys like this video let's even go for 40 likes for this really really cool system actually very very nice indeed from gigaman and obviously a massive thank you to him again for sending this system in and obviously like i said if you want to send in your own systems make sure to send them um in my discord server link in the description for that and also guys um we did we're doing good with the subscribers still so yeah massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed and continues coming back every video it's absolutely amazing how uh, things are going and just a huge thank you to everyone it is it is really cool and this is quite cool as well at the moment but yeah massive thank you um to everyone for that and also subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 10,000 subscribers now still can't believe i'm saying that 10,000 that is absolutely crazy i have i'm still thinking of what to do for a 9k special so if anyone's got any ideas for that let me know but um yeah, that is everything, guys. So, yeah, I will see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.